Uh, will you stick around for us for a second? We want to talk to you about another big health story. Yes. We just got some breaking news on the FDA has approved a new round of COVID booster shots as cases rise across the U.S. Yeah, according to data from the CDC, hospital admissions are up more than 15 percent. Deaths are also up more than 10 percent. So let's bring back our NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Natalie Azar. Dr. Azar, how soon could these boosters actually roll out and who should get these shots right away? Right, so tomorrow the CDC's advisory committee will be meeting to make exactly those recommendations, what everybody is uh, eager to hear, and that is who should be prioritized for these vaccines. Um, I think the expectation is fairly straightforward that we're going to hear that individuals over the age of 65, people who are immunocompromised, people with comorbidities, pregnant women, that those are the groups that really should be um, you know, scheduling their vaccines, whether or not they will make a broader recommendation for the general public, people who've had their initial series, et cetera, we will see. Once the CDC's director signs off on the vaccines, which could happen as early as tomorrow evening after uh, the meeting ends, we could expect these shots to be available in the coming days. Both Pfizer and Moderna have said that they have uh, you know, a supply that is ready to be deployed as soon as they get the green light. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm going to be really frank about this. I was out for about 10 days. I put it on social media. I her. had COVID. I'm completely negative now. It was, oh, there a great picture. <laughs> picture of me with COVID. Um, I, it was really hard, I I Dr. That. Natalie. It was, I mean, I had fever, chills, a sore throat, a cough, a headache, exhaustion. All the people I've talked to in my life who've had it, same thing. Is this strain right now tougher than others, or maybe it's because it was my first time. So, uh, yeah, no, and I saw that picture, Kate. I'm so glad you're feeling better. <laughs> you, you did not look like a happy camper. Um, you know, um, so, so, so far, I mean, we, again, we don't know what strain you had. Presumably, it's either the EG. Uh oh, it looks like we just lost <laughs> oh, Dr. No. Azar prime time because we are eager to hear, and I'm sure we will hear a little more later. Dr. Natalie Azar, thanks as always for all of your insights. We really appreciate it. We didn't and get her back, did we? We didn't. I don't. Yeah, she's still, still frozen. frozen. But right. I'm also. Oh, wait, wait. She's back. Natalie, are you back? This is live TV, folks. We're yes. doing it. Okay, start over I'm your so answer. Sorry. Start, just start your answer you. again. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so all the data we have right now does not point to the, the predominant strains that we're seeing, the EG, the FL strains that we're seeing right now, that they're causing more severe disease. But again, that's being measured in hospitalizations. It's not being measured in regular folks like you and I at home. And I agree, anecdotally, the two people closest to me who just had it we're really, really sick. And I think it's just a reminder to people that, yeah, if you are lucky, you have a little sore throat and a little bit of a sniffle and you don't develop long COVID. If you're not so lucky, you're out of work, you know, children, et cetera, et cetera. It's really very disruptive. And we're hoping, of course, Kate, that you don't have any lingering symptoms or develop any new symptoms. The booster will prevent infection. Um, that is not going to last forever. That's usually a three to six month um, you know, sort of benefit that yeah. you get. But again, that other part of the immune system that protects us from severe disease and hospitalization, we believe is much more durable. So Kate, I'm sure you'll probably be getting an updated vaccine, but you oh, don't need to get it for the next <laughs> couple of months. Will You've when developed I don't want when I lots of antibodies yeah. right now. When I can, I absolutely will. And I encourage yeah. people, I would always encourage everyone to get fully vaccinated mm -hmm. so you don't feel the worst and don't end up in the hospital. Dr. Natalie, thank you. Exactly. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.